Revelation reveals a righteous king and kingdom to come. But first, will this world's Babylonian system end? He cried with a mighty voice, saying, Fallen, fallen is Babylon the great. Are kings and merchants alike corrupt? Babylon's evil and immoral wine has made all nations drunk. Every king on earth has slept with her, and every merchant on earth is rich because of her evil desires. Should God's people leave Babylon? Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, so that you don't take part in her sins and don't receive any of her plagues. Will this debauched realm collapse quickly? Her sufferings will frighten them, and they'll stand at a distance and say, Pity that great and powerful city, pity Babylon. In a single hour her judgment has come. Will merchants mourn? The merchants of the earth will also weep and mourn over her, because no one buys their merchandise any longer. Will she engage in human trafficking? Cinnamon, spice, incense, perfume, frankincense, wine, olive oil, fine flour, wheat, cattle, sheep, and cargoes of horses, carriages, slaves, and human lives. Is righteous capitalism very different to unethical Babylonian capitalism? Will there be joy when its corrupt reign ends? After this I heard what seemed to be the loud voice of a great multitude in heaven, crying out, Hallelujah! Salvation and glory and power belong to our God, for His judgments are true and just. For He's judged the great prostitute who corrupted the earth with her immorality, and has avenged on her the blood of His servants. Will Jesus finally marry his bride, the church? Let's rejoice and exult and give him the glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his bride has made herself ready. What will the bride wear? And to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. No longer on a donkey, what will Jesus ride? Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and he judges and makes war in righteousness. Will the arch deceiver be bound? He seized the dragon, that ancient serpent who is the devil or Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. If we're saved by faith, what relevance do good works have? And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works, by the things which were written in the books. What else will be new? Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the old heaven and the old earth had disappeared, and the sea was also gone. Was this also foretold by Old Testament prophets? How does Revelation describe it? I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared like a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice out of heaven saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with people, and he'll dwell with them and they'll be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. Will there be any more reason for sorrow? He'll wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. There'll be no mourning, crying, or pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. How will overcomers be blessed? All who are victorious, or overcome, or conquer, will inherit all these blessings, and I'll be their God, and they'll be my children. 
What's the joyful conclusion of all things? The angel showed me a river that was crystal clear, and its waters gave life. The river came from the throne where God and the Lamb were seated. Then it flowed down the middle of the city's main street. On each side of the river are trees that grow a different kind of fruit each month of the year. The fruit gives life, and the leaves are used as medicine to heal the nations. Will there be a time when we'll no longer even try to bring men to repentance? Let the evildoer still do evil, and the filthy still be filthy, and the righteous still do right, and the holy still be holy. We're saved by faith, but how is our reward determined? Behold, I'm coming quickly, and my reward is with me, to reward each one as his work deserves. Who will not be there? Outside of the dogs, the drug users and spellcasters, those who commit sexual immorality, the murderers, the idolaters, and all who love and practice deception. Is explaining technical details important? Being careful not to add anything not supported by the text. Should we take anything away from these prophecies or take them out of our lectionaries? Here's my warning for everyone who hears the prophecies in this book. If you add anything to them, God will make you suffer all the terrible troubles written in this book. If you take anything away from these prophecies, God will not let you have part in the life-giving tree and in the holy city described in this book. Have we seen the mysteries of Christ revealed in symbolism, the end of all evil and the dawning of a new era of supreme joy? May our Lord and Saviour come quickly. Do we choose the lake of fire or the blessed eternity revealed in these prophecies? You decide. <music>